Now. Hello, my name is Len Toft. Uh, I'm the inventor of the Universal Timekeeping System and Apparatus. Uh, it's uh, basically a 12-hour metric clock. Each hour is composed of 100 minutes, and each minute is composed of 100 metric seconds. Uh, there are 12 hours per day, 1,200 minutes per day. So it's a 6 to 5 ratio between 1,440 minutes of standard time and 1,200 minutes of regular time. It's also map oriented and there are two versions. This is what I call the south wall clock. You can see the S here, the E points east, the W points west. The circle with the cross in the middle represents uh, the earth. So as the hour hand passes through the earth at night, it's still pointing to the sun. So it points to the sun throughout the full revolution uh, or rotation of the earth per day. Right now it reads the metric clock reads 375. This is equivalent to 11.30 a.m. In the morning, the sun rises, and the average mean time of the rising sun is basically 6 a.m. At 6 a.m., the hour, minute, and second all point due east, and uh, the minutes and seconds are pointing to the zero, and the hour hand is pointing to the hour numbers, 1 through 12. The day is broken into uh, four different quadrants. You have morning, which are our metric hours 1, 2, and 3. Afternoon, noon is 4 o'clock uh, metric time. 5, 6 are afternoon hours. So we have morning, 1, 2, and 3, afternoon, 4, 5, and 6. Evening are 7, 8, and 9. That's a third quadrant. Uh, and then at midnight you have 10. Every metric hour represents an even numbered standard hour. So 11 is 2 a.m., 12 is 4 a.m., uh, 12.50 would be 5 a.m. 12.75 would be uh, 5.30 a.m. and then you get up to uh, 5.59 a.m. is equivalent to 12.99 metric time and then it goes back to 1. So this, that's the beauty of the clock. There's only 12 hours per day. You don't duplicate uh, two 12 hour 60 minute 60 second cycles. So that's the beauty of the clock. It's uh, logical and the numbers have value. One is always a morning number for instance. Uh, Ten is always a midnight number. So it makes a lot of sense. It's easy to convert <clears throat> because every five metric minutes are exactly six standard minutes. So it converts very easily. Every half hour of standard time is 25 metric minutes. Uh, so it's really fun to watch. And then the metric seconds uh, have more, there's 120,000 seconds per day versus 86,400 on a regular clock, which is an 18 to 25 ratio. It breaks down, every aspect of this clock breaks down very well. Uh, so we're going to move over here to a project we just uh, are in the process of working on the dial yet. We got a temporary dial in here, but it has a pendulum which is battery operated instead of uh, it was ran by a mainspring. And I've installed our metric south wall metric movement, which is built of really nice materials, uh, very durable. And uh, it also reads 375, which is equivalent to 11.30 a.m. <clears throat> Over here, <clears throat> we're going to the original uh, version of the clock, which was what was called the North Wall Clock. And it ran in a counterclockwise direction. 
and uh, the reason for that was that it was map oriented so east was to the right the hour hand was pointing in eastward direction in the morning and went counterclockwise which is left so it reads the same numbers but you have to read them as if you're looking into a mirror it reads 3 78 which is a few minutes after 1130 and when the minute and seconds get up to the zero it's noon 12 o'clock it'd be a four o'clock metric so it's the same system uh, it's just uh, seeing it if you have a north wall that you want to place one of these clocks on uh, we have we have the capability so thank you for um, looking at the uh, metric uh, clocks.com and we have uh, more information and uh, we'll try to do another take in a few months so we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.